Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here for your monthly general reading for June. Oh my, and June is already starting off with a bang. First and foremost, I always want to start the readings by saying thank you so much for the love and support you continue to give the channel. Thank you for all the comments that you continuously leave. I read them all. Now, just a little bit about the reading today. You'll be able to apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Hello to our cross watchers out there. Now, keep in mind that the energies will flip-flop. So, if it doesn't relate to you, it could definitely relate to your partner. Now, we are slating this reading for June, but keep in mind there's no time limit to the these readings it could have happened three months ago months ago could happen today or it could happen in the near future now don't forget to follow us on instagram at lotus love tarot 555 you guys subscribe to the channel yes and if you like the reading or if it resonates with you or if you think it may be beneficial to someone else please remember to remember to give us a thumbs up don't forget to hit the little bell because if you hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button, every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Don't forget we do private readings and we have a Patreon now. Yes, you all, there are a lot of great benefits to our Patreon. Just go down the link below and just check out all the benefits that you'll get, especially the extended readings uh, for being just a Patreon. And in the next week or two, I'll be doing Mercury Retrograde mercury retrograde readings for our patreon members only so make sure you check that out and last but not least don't forget we have the lotus love show every monday through thursday 9 p.m eastern standard time okay i think that is all of our announcements now on to your june general reading Hello, my Leos. Okay, you guys, I am back with your read. Let me get this straight. There we go. Um, I was looking back at your reading from May, and it says that Leos making the move can be disastrous. It was not the right time for you to make any kind of movement. So, uh, let's see. Hopefully, you didn't make a move. <laughs> okay. But let's just see where you are for June, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe of messages, make it look for the sign of Leo as it relates to the June general reading 2020. What messages need to look for for the sign of Leo? What messages need to look for for the sign of Leo? All right, I actually had a flipper. And you guys don't forget to join me every. Monday through Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Lotus Love Show. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universal Messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as it relates to the June General Reading 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo? Okay. All right, so let's see what your first message is opportunity this one actually flipped in the deck so there is an opportunity for you this could uh, relate to anything remember this is a general reading so there's something that's coming up for you um that could possibly take your life to the next level this could be in relationship it could be in finances could be dealing with your career um, could be a specific job, could be a skill, could be a talent that you're going to be able to start um, utilizing. So this could reference to anything. Could be a business opportunity, okay? But there is an opportunity and use your imagination and you'll see the answer, all right? So Spirit has asked you to be creative. You know, really think and ponder in your, in your soul and your spirit, using your imagination to guide you okay to give you the steps that you need beautiful okay honor and trust your feelings that goes right along with that so with this opportunity you're really needing to use your intuition you're really trying to get an understanding of um i feel like steps that you need to make yeah i feel like it's, it's directly relating to um steps that are needing to be made but you're needing to trust yourself um you're needing to you know Make sure that you are securing your steps. I won't be shocked if you see the high priestess or the or the fool here because it that kind of references that. So 
let's continue to see what's going on. Our Leos, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universe, what messages need to be for the time of Leo as it relates to the general reading for June 2020. The messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo. What does Leo need to know? Oh, goodness. Okay, so we got to make sure we don't have any more flippers. Because those wanted to come out. Okay, ooh. What is going on? Leo, here's you right here in the middle of your reading. What is it? Huh? Oh, wow. Okay, my Leos. Your first card out is the Tower. King of Pentacles in reverse. The Sun. The Empress. The Hierophant in reverse. And your overarching energy is the Three of Pentacles. Okay, you do have an angel number that's coming through. You have a three here and a three here. So the three, and you have threes here, a three here as well. So threes are definitely coming through for you. Make sure you look up look up the threes for an additional message. Could be dealing with the fire sign uh, with this tower here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you right here in the center of your reading with Leo. Empress, you got Taurus and Libra. Hierophant, you got Taurus. And you got Earth again with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is a serious um earth earthly reading so to speak <laughs> okay um definitely what's going on so you're starting with the tower something had to burn something had to come to an end okay um this could this is definitely spirit making this happen this is this is uh an inevitable end that means it had to come to an end so you're starting your reading with with this so whatever ended and i feel like whatever it was it was not kind to you it was a painful ending something you may did not want to let go but you had to could be this king of pentacles here in reverse this is somebody who represents greed this could represent material loss um could represent somebody who was just all about you know material possessions or what have you um, but that had to come to an end. And by being a reverse, it wasn't a pleasant behavior. But I think that you were all right letting that go. This could be material items that you just wanted to let go. You wanted to start over again. But it made you happy, okay? Because you got this King of Pentacles now uh, with, this, with the sun here. And this represents happiness. This represents a joyous outcome. So whatever this was that you let go, it could be an actual person or it could be just your infatuation with material items you decided you know what i'm going to focus on what's important and that made you happy that gave you some type of relief okay and then you couple that happiness with the empress which represents abundance and both are in the upright so you're you're kind of in this this right space that you need to be in for this opportunity to come in but you got to make sure you stay in that right energy because it seems here in the center of your reading you're where you need to be you're in the right energy you know could represent fertility as well with this empress here could represent the time you could get pregnant could represent a mother so a mother could have something to do with the situation but whatever it is it represents a joyous outcome Okay, it represents abundance, it represents fertility, it represents being able to birth something, which could be this new opportunity here. This is huge here. Okay, now we got the Hierophant in reverse. Um, by being in reverse, this could represent a marriage that uh, was going through a divorce, this could represent a breakup. Um, this could represent just looking at something from a new perspective. This could represent somebody being rebellious. So if this higher fun in reverse is directly related to a marriage that involved this king of pentacles, that is truly understandable. And once you broke up, once you got rid of that uh, person, you know, you were happy. You know, you were abundant. You know, you were happy by yourself. But this, by this coming at the end, this is something that you, you're still dealing with or you're, you're needing to deal with. Um, and maybe it may not be all the way done with yet, so you're still feeling some remnants of that. Um, but this opportunity, this is working as a team. This is you realizing that you have the support around you. Um, this is teamwork. This is working with people. This is a group of people coming together. Okay, so this could be a family that's, uh, 
you know, working with you to get through a certain thing or trying to help you maybe with this opportunity. Could be a business associate that's needed to help you with an opportunity. But it, you got your pinnacles here. So something involving money. Okay, definitely something involving money. With the Six of Wands in reverse, this represents not being paid attention to, uh, represents being overlooked. Um, that's that uh, fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Could represent having excess pride too. Okay, so either represents that you're not being recognized for something. Could represent that you may be receiving some karma on something because it represents punishment as well. Or it could represent that you have, you have too much pride in something, that you're too prideful. Okay, so it could represent any one of those. So if you're seeing those behaviors exhibited in a situation, make sure you put that in check quickly. Okay, so you're needing to go within. You're really needing to, with the hermit here, um, could represent Virgo, but you're really needing to get spiritual guidance. You're really, this is, this is trusting your intuition. This is having spiritual illumination, you know, within, with, with, with within yourself this is having you know going within to have clarity this is trying to understand what your personal truth is you know what do you want to do um you know this is understanding that you know you're being guided by spirit um that's another thing which is actually beautiful you know being guided by spirit allowing spirit to guide you this is you you know just contemplating this is you searching for the truth this is you getting that inner guidance that you need Oh, see, we got the emperor and, and now the empress, but the emperor's in reverse. So this could be the marriage right here. But who, uh, whoever's representing this empress energy, it's, they're not, they're not, see, you got the emperor, the empress, and then you got the higher one in reverse. So that's definitely a, probably a marriage, a divorce, a breakup, um, a, a higher commitment that wasn't given in a relationship. But the emperor, something was out of control or this person was out of control or the situation got out of control. This is Aries energy right here. Um, but with the king of cups, I feel like this is somebody that was supportive, somebody that was compassionate, that, that listened, somebody that kind of guided and supported, you know, in you in the way that you needed to go. This is somebody who was empathetic. This could be you. You know, that was working out of this King of Swords energy. You said, you know, it's like, you know, you can be out of control all you want, but I'm still going to be in control of myself. I'm still going to be in control of my emotions. I'm still going to be sympathetic to others. I'm not going to allow you to uh, to mess with my mind or my heart. Now, that could be you, okay, that's taking on that King of Swords energy. With the Seven of Cups, though, this is commitment. So when you get this opportunity, you got to really decide, are you going to commit to this? Because this is having commitment issues, you know, having too many choices. So make sure you're able to narrow down what you want, what you desire. And being, being able to go within with this hermit card, that's going to help you. Okay, you need to really honor and trust your feelings because you're going to have many choices here with this opportunity. It might be opportunities. You're going to have many choices, but whatever you decide, you need to commit to it. You really need to commit to it. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So with the lovers here, this could represent a Gemini. I mean, that's, that's, that's a strong union. That's a strong partnership. That's deep love. And that's a choice. So you are going to choose. You're going to choose. You're going to choose the one that's going to bring you strength. So you're going from the seven of cups to actually choosing who's best for you. Oh my God. I just got chills from that. Oh, I'm just going to stop there. Wow. Yeah. That's where I'm supposed to stop for you. Oh my gosh, that just gave me chills to you. All right, so it looks like you're going to make the right choice for this opportunity. I feel good about that. Uh, when you get past this, this little situation here, uh, whatever you started with that, you know, that it had to crash and burn, you're going to decide right. You're going to decide right, okay? All right, my loves, just remember to honor and trust your feelings. That's so important. Honor and trust your, your feelings. And that's guiding you right. If you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.